I did a cover of Love Bug, and there were a couple comp actually there were several comments asking how he got all those shots on the screen. Um, I'm gonna teach you how you can do that with Sony Vegas Pro. I don't know if he did that with Sony Vegas Pro, but here's how you do that. So I wasn't exactly using musical instruments. I was just like hanging out and stuff in my videos, but I can still do this. Okay, so zoom into here. Um, so for the first video, you go to event pan slash crop, and you're not gonna mask it, so I don't know why that's there. Delete, delete, delete. Okay, so you're not gonna mask, and you're just gonna click down here. Okay, so then you're gonna click, I think that button right here, and then you're gonna click it again. So. No, you want to make sure it's like that, okay? So, um, if you hover over it, it's going to say move freely X and Y, okay? Doing that, it'll be better. But if you do this, it won't work. And if you do this, it won't work. So you have to do the one where it goes up and down. So click that, and then you go over to the video, and you click there. Why isn't this working? Okay, so... So you can move it freely, so you're just going to make it, like, extend it so it's smaller. And then you can move it around. Hold on. You can move it around wherever you want to. So, and you c if we sh move the screen, you can see it right there as we move it around, screen moves. Okay, like that. And then, back out. And you can do that with all the other clips. So event pan slash crop. Um, minimize it or make it smaller. And move it over here. And it's cool, see? Now that one's over here. And you can do that with as many clips as you want. Cause this is Sony Vegas Pro. Event pan slash crop. And, uh, this one, I, I have no idea what the hell I was doing. So, if you look at that screen over there, I'm just going to do the same thing I've been doing this whole time. Minimizing it, and then moving it maybe to the bottom. So I can... And then close out. So...